is Beth Laurent here from the Speech and Language Garden. Uh, this video I'm going to tell you all about uh, different ways that you can use one of the ebooks that you can get from my website speechandlanguagegarden.com uh, in the resources page. I've got five ebooks at the moment but I've got more pending. I uh, just need to find some time to write those. So let me know if you have any uh, particular topics that you're really keen on looking for. So what happens is when you um, download or you purchase an ebook from my website on the thank you page, a link to download the ebook comes straight away. So you don't even have to wait for it. It's immediately there. Um, and then you can, uh, it also actually sends an email to you uh, with confirmation and, and then again another link to the uh, digital ebook so this one's my activities for language development so I printed it off so what you can do is you can print off a copy and um, have a little look through see what you like the look of um, what I like to do actually is print off individual pages and give them to um, teaching assistants to work one-to-one -one with children or I might print off a page to work with um, to send home for homework for parents for example so you can just read it cover to cover, find the bits that you really like that are going to suit the children in your setting or a particular child that you're working with and crack on. Go and enjoy yourself playing some of these games and let me know how you get on. At the back of all of the ebooks is the speech and language record sheet um, that you can use to record all of the activities that you've done um, and well, what were the outcomes or did you have any comments? Was this a tricky activity? Did you use particular vocab, for example, if you're looking at vocabulary? Did you use vocab on a topic that you're working with the, with the child? Or were you looking at um, specific speech sound activities? So it's something for you to keep a log of and copy and also you can send a copy home to make sure that people, people at home are doing their homework too. So you can read it cover to cover and choose the best bits for you to do straight away. You can um, print off individual pages and put them up in the staff room. I like to do this in one of the schools that I work at, just to give them little bits of inspiration or ideas, or Beth's going to come into your classroom at some point and see what if you're doing any of these activities with the children. So this one's for auditory memory interventions. Got a ton of different games in here, things like the I went shopping game, pass the pen game, there's a bit on barrier games, some true or false games, echo games, lots of fun games and activity ideas that you can be doing um, with the children in your setting. And also what's important for me as a speech therapist who works with children across lots of different age ranges is that you can then alter all of these activities and games for the age of the children that you're working with. So all the way from, from preschoolers, particularly for the language development, um, ebook but also you, I use a lot of these activities and games with children all the way up to year 10 and 11 as well so you can really adapt the activities um, to the ages and stages and preferences and motivations of the children and the pupils that you're working with. You know when you have those staff meetings and you think oh goodness I forgot to plan something for the staff meeting don't worry about it I've got it covered just print off one of these ebooks and read out a couple of pages or oh, here's some specialist training that you can cascade down to your team I am a highly specialist speech therapist, so the stuff that I've created for you, you can use as specialist training for your team. You can talk about some of the activities, how you can um, relate them or how you can do them with children in your setting and whether one child might like it or you might need to tweak it for a different child who might find it difficult to sit at a table, for example. So you can use that as an opportunity to share some good ideas and best practice and to give the ideas that are in the ebooks for you in your staff meeting. So I've got you covered there. Also, because this is a digital download, you can store it on your computer or you can share it to your, uh, you can upload it to your shared drive in your school or in your settings. Then you have it as a resource that you can use not only in the next few weeks, but in the next couple of years as well. So a lot of these activities can be done one to one with the children um, or you can do them with groups of children. So here's one of my one speech sound games to play using pictures. So you might have one child who really needs to work on their speech sounds. But you might also have another child who really needs to work on their ability to just wait their turn, <laughs> to do a little bit of turn taking, a little bit of attention and listening. So what you can do is choose an activity here. What's a good one here? Well, picture Lotto's instructions. So this one is where you've got, um, you print out a couple of copies of the pictures and you've got a board each and you need to um, turn over the other cutout. Of the, so two lots of pictures you need to print out. One where you have a board each and one where you cut out all the individual pictures and you put them face down on the table and you take it in turn to choose a picture, say what it is. So you've got the child who's working on their speech sound to work on, um, to focus on that. But then you've got the child who also needs to work on their attention, listening, turn taking skills to work on that. So you can see that you can do small groups and multiple targets for one activity. So I really like to do that um, for, for, I'd like to recommend that for teaching assistants and particularly preschools and early year settings too. 
Uh, some of these games and activities you can do as whole class games. The I Went Shopping game is a really fun one to do with about 20 children. It can get quite challenging, but also really fun, uh, especially if you've got some uh, children who have got uh, quite fun personalities in the class who think of really obscure um, ideas and words that you can put into those games. That's always good fun to do, especially as a good sort of like time filler or an icebreaker. Those are good. Um, what else have I written down here? Oh yes, you can play these games in the car. So when I am working with uh, preschoolers actually, I do a lot of car games for parents because it's not always easy to find time to play games working on speech and language activities with your children. I'm a busy mum um, and it's, yeah, it's just not always easy, but there's always time that we spend in the car. So I do uh, set a lot of these games as car journey games um, for them to be playing as well. Um, and then finally, if you want any more ideas and activities, or even if you want some of these ebooks, have a little look at my website, thespeechandlanguagegarden.com. I have written all of these ideas down in a blog for you uh, on my website. It's under the blog, um, blog or articles page, so help yourself to have a little look. It's called 10 Ways to Use an Ebook from the Speech and Language Garden. So I'll sign off now and I'll see you in the next video.